Hello and welcome to the IT Shed. In this video, we're going to look at regular expressions, particularly the assignment Watch on YouTube. So an example is given here of what we need to do. So we're going to give them the shell code. And all we've got to do is finish off this definition here, this function parse. So what's going to do is it's going to take in HTML URL. So we're going to paste into our program. So this one or this one here. So if we paste this one in, it's going to extract the actual URL. And it's going to, we're going to cut off this username here. So this particular part here. And then we're going to append it to a separate URL, which is this URL. And we'll append our username onto it. So same down here, this is our iframe that we paste into our program. From here, it'll find our URL, take the username from it, and append it to a new username that's our u2u.be, and this is our username. So as I said, we have our shell code here, and we're going to test our program using these iframes, and then we'll test it with uh, check 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, or copy it, and I'm going to bring it over to my program, which I have just started here, and it's watch.py, and that's in a folder called watch. So I'm going to paste it in here. So this is the part we need to complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the re-module. As you see up here, we've imported the re-module and the sys-module. So I'm going to start re.search. So this is where I'm going to put my code. So I'm going to save that to a new variable I'm going to call URL. I'm going to assign it to that. So what we need to do here. So looking again at our iframes, we're going to, like both of them are different. They're totally different. So like this ends with iframe and up here it ends with title. So, you know, it's not consistent. So what we need to do is we need to find our URL here up as far as here. So once we get this here, because these are both consistent in the both iframes. So we get this and then from after, so we'll cut from after to here. That's what we need to find and cut. So we'll discard the beginning of it and we'll discard the end of it. And we'll be left with this part here, which we will copy and we will append to this URL here. So to do that, first of all, we need to find this part. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to proceed it by an R for raw string and then I'm going to do my vertical commas. And here we have S which is going to be our input. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put the S in here. So that's what we're looking for. So this is our string we're searching and this is what we're searching for. So if we look at our assignment here, we see that here we have a HTTP and down here we have HTTPS. So in other words, S is optional. We know this because we watched the video and we watched our tutorial on edX that the question mark is optional. So it means that S is actually optional. So the next thing we notice is that www is also optional. For instance, it's here, it's here, but it's not down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the www in brackets. And I'm going to put a question mark here to say that it's optional. So we have an optional S and we have an optional www. So it can be there or it cannot be there, it doesn't matter. The next thing I want to do is I want to escape the dots because remember in regex, dots mean a particular thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape them to show that they're actually literal dots and that's what the R is here for, show that it's a raw string. So I'm going to escape that and I'm going to escape this dot here because it's not uh, regex related here. This is actually a dot, dot com. So how do we actually find what we are looking for here? So how do we find this username? 
So what we got here is we got <clears throat> we got letters and both uppercase and lowercase and we got numbers. So what I'm going to do here, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to use brackets and I'm going to do a dot for characters and I'm going to do a plus for many of them. But then I'm going to put a question mark in as well. So the dot means find characters, the plus means find one or more of them. And the question mark here in this context is going to make it reluctant rather than greedy. And look at, I'm not great at this regex thing, but look on a stack overflow here. We have an example. So the dot and the plus is greedy. So it consumes as many characters as it can. Whereas the dot, the plus and the question mark is reluctant and consumes as few characters as it can. So I'm going to do an example here in just about one moment, if you bear with me. Because what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to do an if statement. So I'm going to say if URL. So in other words, if the URL actually exists, then I'm going to create a new variable called username. I'm going to use this to capture the group here. So I'm going to do the groups as we've seen in our video. So normally we would be capturing group one. But because this is in brackets, this is actually group one. If this was out of brackets, if they weren't there, then we'd be using group one. But that's not the case. So this is going to be group two. So I'm going to say URL, which is here, dot group two. So now I'm going to print this. Now to print it, because our print statement is up here in this function, our main function, I'm going to return it. So I'm returning username. So it's going to be used by the function up here to print it. So I'm going to cd into watch. That's our folder. Just make sure I'm in the correct folder. I'm going to run the program. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy this iframe and paste it. So I see you have an X. So I get in the first X from here. That's because it's reluctant. Now, this is just an example here of, this is what we're capturing. We're trying to capture this username here. So using the question mark, it's reluctant. So it's catching the least amount that it can. So it's just catching this, which is the X. So if I clear that, I'm gonna delete the question mark to make it greedy and consume as much characters as I can. I'm gonna run the program again. Paste it in, and now we've got the username. But as you see, we also got the end of the iframe from here on, which we will deal with in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it reluctant because for the program to work properly, it's going to have to be reluctant. But that's what reluctant and greedy is. So I'm going to put that back. So now I'm going to concentrate on this part here, getting rid of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab each character in turn. I'm going to keep grabbing them until we get to this character in turn. I'm going to stop. So I scour the internet and this is what I came up with. I came up with question mark equal to the inverted comma. So it's going to optionally keep going until it finds the inverted comma. It's going to stop. Now this is going to throw errors here. Using our backslash, we're going to have to escape our inverted comma because this is actually a literal raw inverted comma. So we're looking for the inverted comma here. So we're backslashing it to escape it. So this is our code. So I'm gonna clear it and I'm gonna try running it again. So as you can see, we are after capturing our username. So again, it's finding this, discarding it, copying this and when it hits the inverted comma it stops and this is what's returned here using our group two so remember say that's group one because it's in the in the brackets and that's group two here so this is what we need this is the part we need so what i'm going to do here for the moment i'm just going to get rid of username so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create an f string which is a format string and i'm going to paste the url that we want here this is the this URL here. 
going to paste that into it and then I'm going to use curly braces and say username and I'm going to close it off with the inverted commas so the f string is a format string and it's using this string and then it's plugging in here our username variable with the curly braces so this should be our program done so if I run it this time I'm going to take the bigger one copy that so our program's running just paste it in and this is our output so I'm just going to go into the check 50 copy it clear this just to make it easier <clears throat> paste it in and we have all greens I believe yep all greens so this was the IT shed and thank you for watching hopefully I'll see you in another video soon